I want my hat back, written and illustrated by John Classen. My hat is gone. I want it back. Have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No, I have not seen any hats around here. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No. Why are you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. I would not steal a hat. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay. Thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? I haven't seen anything all day. I have been trying to climb this rock. Would you like me to lift you on top of it? Yes, please. Have you seen my hat? I saw a hat once. It was blue and round. My hat doesn't look like that. Thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? What is a hat? Thank you anyway. Nobody has seen my hat. What if I never see it again? What if nobody ever finds it? My poor hat. I miss it so much. What's the matter? I have lost my hat, and nobody has seen it. What does your hat look like? It is red and pointy and... I have seen my hat. You, you stole my hat. I love my hat. Excuse me, have you seen a rabbit wearing a hat? No. Why are you asking me? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen any rabbits anywhere. I would not eat a rabbit. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay. Thank you anyway. John Classen studied animation at Sheridan College. He created the animated short In Eye for an Eye, and has also served as the art director for YouTube's video I'll Go Crazy If I Don't Go Crazy Tonight. He worked on the animated films Coraline and Kung Fu Panda. He has also illustrated picture books such as Extra Yarn, and Carol Stutzen's Cat's Night Out, for which he received the Governor General's Award for English Language Children's Illustration. I Want My Hat Back, which features Classen's unique China ink and digital illustrations, was published by Candlewick Press. It was selected for the New York Times list of 10 Best Illustrated Children's Books of 2011. I chose I Want My Hat Back for my read-aloud project because I admire the amount of humor Classen created with simple repetitive language, which I hope to emulate in the picture book I will create for my senior thesis. I also enjoyed the illustrations, which, although also were simple and repetitive, still managed to convey a great amount of humor and character. John Classen admitted that the book's ending was a risk, but he managed to execute it in a fashion that was both shocking and humorous. I admire that he trusted children's ability not only to handle, but also to be amused at the story's violent ending.